What's up guys, my name's Nick. My name's Nathan. And this is a 2013 F250 Lariat with the Platinum package. And today we're gonna to review it. All right, so starting things off up under the hood here, we can see that this is the 6.7 liter V8 turbo diesel motor made by Ford. So this motor actually puts out 400 horsepower and 800 pound-feet of torque, which gives you a towing capacity around 15,000 pounds. All right guys, here's a cold start up for you on the 2013 F250. So this is the Platinum package, so it does have some different stuff on the exterior styling. You got a lot of chrome around, you got chrome on the mirrors. There's a pretty nice big chrome wheels down here as well. Again, you got the chrome power stroke badge, big running board down here as well. And I do really like these handles, how this is different from the body color. I think it stands out pretty nicely and it has a pretty nice uh, feel to it when you open the door. All right, one more thing that I do want to mention about the outside is this tailpipe here. It really does stick with the theme of the Platinum package. It is nice and shiny. All right, so standing here at the rear end of the truck, you can see that this is the short bed model. Uh, something that I just want to mention while we're back here, some Fords have this, is you are able to pull down on this little thing, and then you actually have a step right here, and then you can lift this up too, and it's much easier to step up into your truck. All right, guys, so sitting here in the driver's seat, it is a pretty luxurious here on the inside with the platinum package. We just have a lot of leather around us, along with some wood that just uh, kind of complements everything. Right here, you can see this is wood. There's wood on top of the steering wheel. I really like that. There's wood on either side, um, right down next to your controls for, say, your window and a lock and unlock button. So you can see we got some pretty nice black leather seats here with platinum here in the backrest pretty nice and you got also a leather center console which is really big so you can both easily fit your arms there you've also got cup holders there as well as two more cup holders down here all right guys so just hopping in the back here it does continue the platinum theme you do have platinum written across the the black leather right here and then also you do have heated seats in the back which is really cool the controls are located right next to your window controls also what you can see right in here is an outlet that's really nice and then just uh, one more thing i want to mention this is in a lot of trucks um, if you pull up right here, this is actually uh, lockable. You do have a storage compartment beneath your seats. Interestingly, this has a cigarette lighter. Uh, you could probably put something that needed to be powered beneath here. All right, guys, so I just want to show you an animation that you see here in part of the driver's experience. If you turn on the key, uh, you will hopefully see a little Ford built tough right there. I just think that's really cool for them to add. All right, then continuing on here, we do have a digital uh, screen there right in front of us where you have the animation that you can put a couple of uh, pieces of info on. So uh, the driver of this truck uh, tends to like to look at the um, fuel economy, which you can see uh, both graphs and, um, and live time data for that. And then also, uh, you can just see that there are just a bunch of different things. There's some gauges, um, your trip, uh, info and then some settings also above this you do have some gauges and then on the far left the one that people will probably be most interested in is the turbo pressure all right guys so let's check out the center infotainment stack you've got first off you got four auxiliary switches down here which are pretty cool you've got you can see a pretty good area that you can set your phone in where it won't move around or anything you've also got a lot of buttons here in the center both for volume and radio controls as well as climate controls down here you can see it also changes what it says up on the screen while you're changing these it goes into uh, the different things pop up on the screen but the one thing that is missing that you can see here no heated seat or cooled seat or steering wheel buttons down here they are right here in the infotainment screen however they are on the front page so it's really not that big of a deal for not having a physical button still some people prefer to have the physical button but again it is right here present on these screens so you can just press them right there so another neat feature up here you've got this kind of hidden storage compartment up here that also has a couple uh for some reason it has av ports which i don't know exactly what those would be for if you do let me know in the comments you've also got uh, cigarette lighter outlet right here as well as some USB ports on that side but just kind of an interesting little hidden storage compartment that you probably wouldn't know was there unless you really were looking for it then coming down here to the infotainment screen you can see we got climate here these are a little bit slow in terms of response but you've got a whole bunch of stuff here you can also see we have uh, on-screen buttons for this here too 
but you do have the dial down here also, which is honestly easier to use. Going back to the home screen here, we have entertainment we can look at. Uh, oh, I guess so. That's how you plug in the AV. This is really interesting because I've actually never seen anything like this on any other vehicle. Apparently, you can plug in an external uh, AV system into here and run it through the infotainment, which is really interesting. I've never actually seen that before. You've also got SD card, which you did see an SD card up there, and your Bluetooth phone also works. There is no Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. This is too old of a system for that, but this is still a pretty nice infotainment system, and for it being nearly 10 years old now, it is kind of getting a little bit dated and again a little bit less responsive than modern day systems. Just adding more to the Platinum package and then the luxury of the truck, you do have these pretty cool circular air vents. They do have that continuing a light chrome look around them. I believe that's actually plastic, but then it actually has like a little uh, hexagon shape back inside. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see that, but it is really cool. Also, we do have a Sony sound system that you can see right there. All right guys, so this is a big heavy duty truck. So we've got a really interesting thing here with these side view mirrors. Check this out. You can see they are moving in and out to adjust. Nathan's moving it over there on the driver's side door, which is actually a really cool feature, especially if you've got a big trailer and you need to adjust your field of view with the mirrors. All right, my initial driving impression, uh, the first thing that I feel whenever I started to take this thing for a drive is how smooth it actually is. Um, it drives just really well and nice, and I really did not expect that out of a big truck like this. And continuing on that theme, uh, it does feel like a much larger vehicle than what I'm used to driving my little Civic, um, but it doesn't feel like too cumbersome to drive. Like I don't feel like I'm driving something huge. I just feel like I'm a little bit taller off the ground. So some of my impressions here riding in the truck, I haven't been in it for that long yet. This is the first time I've been in it. The seats are relatively comfortable. They're a little bit firm, but they are nice leather seats and they are relatively comfortable, a lot more so than in some vehicles, especially, and especially for a truck like this, these are pretty comfortable seats. So I am pretty small. However, there is a ton of room in here, both in the front and in the rear. You've got three pretty large seats with a ton of leg room in the back. So you could actually fit a full family of five in here pretty comfortably. All right, so something more that I want to mention about the driving experience is that the steering, I do feel uh, pretty in control of this truck. I don't feel like I'm trying too hard to turn the wheel as you might expect whenever you're driving a bigger vehicle. The power steering does a pretty good job at this. Also, it's got some very nice throttle response, and if I floor it, it does accelerate. Check this out. I was not expecting that actually guys, that does actually give you a little bit of a pushback in your seat and you can hear that engine drop gears and jump RPMs and uh, that actually took off pretty quickly, especially for a big truck like this.